good day, uh, everyone. My name is Diana Gomez. Uh, I, will, I will be the chairman during this presentation block. We shall start with uh, Luis Felipe Rodriguez presentation. Uh, Felipe Rodriguez, are you ready to share your screen? Sorry, <laughs> is uh, Enrique Asuna. Enrique, are you ready to share your screen? Uh, yes, yes, I can, I can show it. Okay. Give me a second. Yes, uh, you have 15 minutes to present your work, uh, followed by five minutes to question from the audience. Okay. Enrique, you can begin, please. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Enrique Suna. I will present to you uh, this work entitled Towards the Construction of Computational Model of Emotion from the Perspective of a Software System. Okay, uh, computational models of emotion are software systems that attempt to simulate the process of human emotion. And and the development process of this kind of models is, is dual in the sense that uh, it requires a theoretical foundation underlying the model. And there is a, a computational basis that support the implementation of, of this model. So uh, these two elements uh, are combined to create a, a functional computational model of emotion. And after that, uh, commonly is, is uh, integrated into a uh, cognitive agent architecture, or simply a, an agent. Some efforts to systematize, systematize the design and construction of CMEs has been reported in literature. For example, Hudlika identified a series of, of uh, computational tasks necessary to implement effective processes and, and analyzes. Uh, hope this basic task can provide a basic a basis for the development of a more systematic uh, guidance for the development of, of this kind of models. Uh, another effort was made by Brokens, uh, who proposed a formal notation for the declarative semantics of the appraisal uh, structure to facilitate the integration of appraisal theories, as well as the design and validation of, of models of emotion based of, on, on appraisal theory. So despite these, these efforts, uh, there is a, a lack of, of uh, theoretical and computational principles to, to guide this, this design and, and computational implementation of, of the models of emotion. So uh, similarly uh, to these two uh, researchers, uh, different models has been reported, uh, has been focused on implementing a, vari a variety of effective processes. As we can see here in, in the table, some of the of the models, uh, most of the model implement an appraisal mechanism, an emotional state, a mood state, a personality state, but not all implement a goal representation, for example, or uh, emotional memory. So the the variety of of affective processes uh, that a model of emotion include uh, is different for one to another. In, in this sense, uh, despite the variety of processes implemented in, in, in models of emotion, there is a series of challenges to need to be addressed in, in order to achieve uh, CME that model various phases, mechanisms, and, and components of the human emotion process. So we argued that some of these challenges are, are very close or are associated with, with a computational nature uh, of CMEs and the need to design CMEs with, with adhering, by adhering to convenient software practice and, and utilizing software artifacts. In this context, instead of following a well-known strategies of software engineering, such, such as those uh, related with iterative and, and incremental development, contemporary CMEs uh, are commonly designed in, in, in an ad hoc manner. And this uh, can be an issue because it uh, can lead to, to CMEs that that model very specific aspects of human emotion and whose evolution could involve a, a complete redesign. So uh, in this work, we analyze the model of emotion from a software system uh, 
perspective, as you can uh, see in the title. And, and we introduced four challenges uh, associated with, with their development process in, in order to, to allow this, this kind of model to process, to model the motion in, in a gradually manner. The first, the first challenge is a software quality attribute in, in the context of CMEs. The number two is interoperability between uh, CMEs and, and cognitive components. The third challenge is formal procedures for the design of, of models of emotion. And the number four is reference teams to, to validate uh, CMEs. Regarding the, the third challenge, uh, the software quality of, in the context of CMEs is from a theoretical perspective appears to be a, a very complex and, and ambiguous uh, situation because the, the difficulty in defining complete and unambiguous uh, specification in terms of the components uh, that need to be included, the operation cycle to be executed, the terminology used to refer uh, the different emotions, uh, states, and other elements related to its operation. However, uh, the software quality of, of this kind of model uh, from a computational perspective seems to be more understable and, and easy, easier to, to approach. And, and even more if we consider a major area such as software engineering that can provide with different stages such as uh, planning, analysis, development, implementation, programming, design, testing, and, and validation of, of software system. So here uh, we can see two, two architectural representation of two different models of emotion that has been reported in, in literature. And, and we can see how, how this uh, architectural representation uh, focuses mainly in, in explain uh, the different interaction among the process, the affective processes, and not too much in, in explain uh, implementation details of the model from a software engineering perspective. Uh, and and this, this, can, this can be an issue. Uh, for example, this can lead to, to a little or not possibility of, of reusing the models or their components because this lack of uh, implementation details. And, and number two difficulties in, in adapting the, the CMEs for its use in application or environments others than those for which they were specially uh, designed. Another uh, problem or difficult can be uh, to extend their size by adding new functionalities to models or removing existing functionalities. Uh, other issues can be CMEs that can efficiently exchange information with, with other software entities. And the number, and the issue number five is to design and implement modular CMEs is difficult, where, where each component encapsulates its, its function, his functionality independently. In order to research in other research areas such as mathematics or, or bioinformatics, computational chemistry, and, and physics, the inclusion of software quality attributes in the scientific application uh, being development has been made possible by, by the adoption of, of well established software engineering methods and, and quality models. So we argue that, that uh, the solution to these kind of problems can be can be proposed in, in these other research areas. And, and we can uh, tailor uh, or adjust them. So together with good software engineering practice, they can uh, be used in, in the context of the models of emotion. Uh, the challenge number two, interoperability between CMEs and, and cognitive components. As, as, uh, the, the purpose for building a, a model of emotion is to, is to be incorporated into a, co in, into a larger system uh, or a cognitive agent architecture to improve the relevance on, of the behavior exhibited by, by an agent or, or a specific agent. And this leads to, to an extensive influence of cognitive entities uh, on the entire development process of, of CMS. 
The speed is a need for interoperability between cognitive and affective components, and that CMEs are essentially software systems. The lack of adherence to software engineering practice during the, the development of, of this kind of model uh, leads to difficulties in, in achieving such an, an interoperability. Here we have another example uh, of a model of emotion that, uh, that suggest the importance of, of uh, integrate the processing of the model of emotion itself with other uh, external entities of, of an agent architecture. For example, here in, in the left side of the picture, we can see that that is very important to consider elements such as uh, cycle context, past experience, social context, personality, culture, and another information from from the agent architecture, I need to, to, to enter into the model of emotion and, and be processed, including in the, in the processing of, of an emotional stimuli. Uh, and on the other hand, also this, this model needs to, to communicate with agent architecture to provide an effective meaning of, of the of our stimuli in, in terms of action selection or planning, uh, expression, uh, learning, and, and other components. Uh, the following are our software engineering practice uh, that can contribute to achievement of interoperability between. Uh, CMEs and, and cognitive architecture that, that were development independently. Uh, the, the, the first element is to use a software engineer, a software design patterns in the context of models of emotion. Uh, software uh, design patterns are a, a common and reusable solution for, for software system, and especially this pattern named uh, adapter pattern can provide with uh, defining interfaces to communicate models of emotion with, with external entities such as uh, cognitive components. The number two is the use of comprehensive notation for describing models of emotion architectures. Uh, and, and this description can, can, be, can be in terms of, of propers, the structure, the components that implement the collaboration between the, the components, implementation, and, and examples of code. And this, uh, these elements is, is usually described when, when a software system is, uh, is designed in, in the context of software engineering. So it, it could be uh, useful as well in the context of model of emotion. The number three is communication protocols between uh, CMEs and, and cognitive components. Of course, if two elements uh, are going to exchange information, uh, need to be a, a protocol to, to, regul to control this communication. So the use of, of common data exchange formats such as XML and, and domain-specific semantics can, can help to, to provide a, protocols for the communication. The challenge number three is formal procedures for the design of CMEs. Uh, the, the development process uh, seems to, to follow the next, the next uh, stages that we can see in the picture. First, uh, when we create or construct a, a model of emotion, there is a selection of theoretical foundation or, or emotional theory. And, and also there is an interpretation of this, of this uh, theory of emotion. And then there is a stage when, when we design the model. <clears throat> and, and that implies to, to specify the operation cycle. Uh, after that, there is a computational codification when we use algorithms or a specific programming language to implement uh, a theoretical, a computational version of of the theoretical foundations. After that is commonly to, to integrate the model of emotion in a larger system such as uh, agent architectures. And finally, there is a, a validation stage. Of course, not all the, the models uh, consider all these stages, but, but mostly uh, those. The described procedure seems to, to result in, in a CME uh, that emulate particular aspects of emotion and are, and are useful in 
in a specific application domain. The development process of CMEs can, can be improved with, with what's pra best practice, Gilness, methodologies, standards, and other suitable software engineering and tools. So to, to address this situation, four specific tasks are defined that can uh, complement the, the process described above uh, in order to, to improve, improve the, the model of emotion design process. The first one is uh, the elaboration of architectural design of the model, which allows to identify the, the main components that will be implemented. The number two is the definition of a coherent and, and consistent operation cycle of the model that refers to the order of ex execution of different affective components that are uh, implemented in, in the model. The number three is uh, take an, an, a modular approach to separate the different affective process uh, during the model of emotion. The number four is, is a definition of proper data structures to represent affective information uh, to design uh, these data structures uh, and, and his algorithms uh, are required to manipulate. Uh, it's an essential requirement to achieve models with, with software quality attributes. Okay. Uh, you have to... Hey. Okay, uh, I, I will just uh, pass to the conclusions because of the time. We also propose a framework that uh, try to to achieve or consider these this proposed challenges. Uh, in in this, well, th there there is two two layers in this framework that, that we propose, and and I will just go to the conclusions. Although the challenges uh, discussed in these papers focus on, on computational aspects, uh, the development of CMEs uh, can be improved considered in software engineering practice. So um, we hope that, that this work contributes to the state of the art by, by first uh, broadening the picture of the challenges that researchers need to consider in order to build computational plausible uh, models of emotion. Uh, two, by highlighting the importance of adopting software engineering practice, especially during the design and, and implementation of, of models of emotion. And number three, uh, contributing to the generation of new lines of research aiming to systematize, uh, systematizing uh, the development process of CMEs. Mm, uh, if, if you want a, a more detailed uh, description, maybe you can consult uh, the paper where we detail, where we explain more detail uh, all these challenges and, and, and the framework that we propose uh, itself. Uh, thank uh, okay. you for, for the presentation. Okay, thank you, Enrique. Uh, now we will proceed with a question from the audience. Uh, please raise your hand. Question? Question. Okay. Hi. Uh, how do you propose uh, to validate the quality of software? Uh, how I propose to validate uh, the quality in, in the models or quality attributes. Uh, we, we, in, this, in this work, we, we, uh, we refer quality from 
uh, software quality perspective, uh, there is uh, it is a term from software engineering such as uh, reusability, uh, flexibility, scalability. These terms are uh, not functional requirements of, of the system, and and give it and give to the model uh, specific um, uh, properties to uh, to expand or to ev to evolve the, the, the model. Uh, it is difficult to validate, but we believe that software uh, engineering uh, have already some metrics and and models of to validate this this kind of software quality attributes. Uh, we are considering um, analyze them to to select uh, a proper metric and, and model validation for for models of emotion. Okay. Then, uh, you propose to use the, the same metrics to validate uh, software architect in cognition like uh, any like. Uh, no, no, not the same metrics, uh, but mm, we can analyze them and, and see how we can adapt them in the context of model of emotion. And of course, it's, it's a work that uh, is a bridge that needs to be um, addressed in, in the investigation. We need to, to see which metrics can, can apply, which not, and and tailor it in the context of, of model of emotion. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is there other question? Okay, uh, thank you Enrique for your participation. It was great. Thank you uh -huh. for, for your attention. Okay.